Welcome to Roaming Norway and welcome to the Model 3 Hoyland, the newest Tesla Model 3 available. Today I'm just going to drive it around and share my uh, impressions and there will be a lot more videos on this car if you are interested. To get this car into drive you just swipe up while you are pressing down the brake pedal of course to get this menu at all and you're ready to drive. Okay, the HVAC is, of course, a little bit noisy. But everything else is so goddamn quiet. I'm not sure about the blinkers here. We are going to try them in roundabouts. Actually, we will try it right now. Let's see, let me just change lane. And here I'm supposed to blink to the left, like I'm doing now. I move into the roundabout. At this point I am supposed to blink out. And I don't know, that was the wrong one. <laughs> That's impossible. Wow. Well, I have to try to get used to it. Okay, we are going here, let's see, what's the autopilot button? This one, maybe? Autopilot not available, we need to enable autopilot. This car is probably 10 times more quiet than the Model 3 that I have from 2021. This one is incredibly quiet and it feels fantastic you feel uh, quite a bit more isolated as well which can be good for the driver of course it wants to auto shift into reverse which is wrong of course in this location i have turned on all the beta features to test them now we are going on the motorway to test uh, sound performance on the motorway. And this is a motorway tunnel, so we won't get uh, any side wind noise and stuff like that. We have navigate on autopilot here, and uh, that enables uh, automatic lane changes. The map is also much more accurate in this car than in my Model 3 2021. I don't know why, but it follows the tunnel here. So on the motorway it feels great. There is nothing to complain about. It's very, very silent. Nothing to complain about regarding the blinkers either. At least when uh, I'm on the highway. It's easy to blink and if you have navigate on autopilot you have automatic lane changes as well which is very nice, of course. Now we are going to do some roundabout driving. There is a stuck Kia Soul. This, uh, I can already feel that the dampeners are <laughs> so much different than the Legacy Model 3. Wow. Okay, we are going to blink left in this roundabout. I'm blinking left. Here I'm supposed to switch over. Where, where, where is is it this one? I don't know. No, that was the wrong one. I'm not sure if uh, I can get used to that. Anyways, it feels fantastic to drive. And um, it's softer in the corners, of course. It doesn't throw you around as much. You're more seated here, I'm supposed to blink out. It's that one. Wow! That needs, uh, you need concentration. The steering wheel feels great. Wow. I love the steering wheel feel. Okay, let's try some more roundabouts. Because this is what people want to see. Maybe I should uh, turn on the light here. So you can see the steering wheel better. Okay, I'm going to turn around in this roundabout. When you turn around in the roundabout in Norway and many other countries in Europe, you're supposed to blink to the left when you enter the roundabout.
Okay. And now, when I'm past this one, I'm supposed to blink out. And you need to find a button. So I, I guess you can get used to where it is, but I have to look at the steering wheel to find it. I'm not sure if there are other people who are more proficient than me in this, but I find this kind of uh, kind of difficult to do. I'm all for new things that I can get used to. Sure, no problem. But I'm not sure if I can actually get used to this. Since this car has hardware 4, I also want to try autopilot in places like these to see if there is any difference. I don't think there is much difference with autopilot, especially how restricted it is in Europe. It's braking like normal. Okay. BMW not blinking. See, no one, no one blinks, so does it really matter? No, probably not. I want to try the parking sensors. This kind of feel, we, uh, when I try the pre-production car, uh, which I have a video on, by the way, I kind of feel like these are... Okay, now I'm going to blink in there, so it's like this. It's, it's work, it's work to blink correctly. Okay, let's see, this is a wall, let's move towards the wall. a stop but I know that I have a lot left why is the off with the wipers no wipers needed now park and ambient lighting is back to normal okay it knows that this was a wall so if I tap to activate it will automatically put me in reverse that's nice when it works but it probably doesn't work all the time and can I change gear while in motion yes I can that's nice so better than I thought but still not good enough this is a really bumpy road and uh, I can nearly not well, I feel the bumps, but they are smoothed like crazy, so it doesn't bother me. I felt like, to, to compare this car to my 2021 Model 3, the old Model 3 now, this car doesn't throw you around. You are seated into the seat. You can take some crazy, crazy, crazy turns without being thrown around. And that's awesome. Let's uh, just... Stop here for a little bit. For the record, in uh, this uh, driving impression video, we are using Nokian Hakapelita R5 EV studless winter tires. It's so much smoother. And it's because of the frequency response dampeners that I have installed in the new Tesla Model 3 Highland which doesn't exist at all in the old one. So this car actually compared to the Model Y, especially the 2021 model, which uh, didn't include uh, uh, the better comfort suspension. It is way better, way better than the Model Y. And that's going to be an issue because there is a little while be uh, before the new Model Y refresh comes out with uh, probably m many of the same changes as this one. The sound system in this car is absolutely fantastic. It's the best I've ever heard in any car. Okay, now we are driving on cobblestone. Wow, 
You feel it, of course, but it's not bothersome. We have done motorway driving, we have done city driving, we have done cobblestone driving. Now we are going to do some curvy roads. So planted, and the seats are new as well. I do like the seats. They are, of course, ventilated as well now. But the seats do hold you better into position, but uh, there are rumors of new sports seats that I think will be even better. Wow. When there is bumps in the road, you feel like you're just flying over them. I must say that the suspension is a major improvement and I think the car is still fun it's it doesn't take away from the fun but it puts you in like a much better and um, you're you're much more planted in the seat I feel like Well, the old uh, Model 3, you felt a uh, uh, really hefty vibration, or you felt like you were thrown. Here it's smooth sailing. It smooths out all the curves. It's so nice. The steering input is less di direct, I would say. I'm not the best one to like describe uh, driving feelings. There are many other people who are better at that than uh, I am. But from my experience, this it smooths out all the curves, and the driving uh, at that that includes input as well. Now I have it. I don't think I have it in. Um, let's say Pendleton steering. Standard. I can put it into sport to see if it's more direct done. Okay, let's try sport steering. Okay. It's a little bit more direct, but I feel like my Model 3 is more direct than this. This feels a little bit more boaty, but it's, it's still pretty good. It's still very good and super smooth. Nice. The comfort is so much better. This is a cruiser. You can do miles on miles on miles or kilometers on kilometers or kilometers if you prefer that. What an amazing engineering uh, on this car. Wow. Okay, we are back in the Mole 3 Highland and I just want to see if the heat pump is as noisy as in the old one. So we set right into a cold car, it's minus 4 degrees outside.
this is heating up. No warm heat just yet, just normal. The heat pump sounds smoother and not as loud. No fridge noises like in the old one so far. And now it's warm air. That's very nice. Okay, let's defrost the windshield. It resets to Norwegian every time I sit in the car. So that's super annoying, but uh, this means fog removing at least. One of the downgrades is now that there is only one USB-C port in the front. I don't know why they did that. And listen to this. It sounds much better than the old one. It's an absolutely beautiful morning here in uh, the Bergen area. So I just want to conclude my review of the Model 3 Highland and um, since I've been owning uh, a Model 3 2021 as my primary vehicle for over two years now, driving it almost every day, around uh, 60, closer to 70,000 kilometers. I think I'm able to at least come with opinions uh, on this car that um, maybe other people can't. So I noticed that we did a cold start on this car. We barely heated it up. It's minus two degrees and we are not getting we're getting a little bit of region limit, but not as much as I expected and not as much as the old Model 3 would get here, uh, is my, uh, my thoughts. I think actually this battery has some kind of better thermal uh, performance, probably. Anyways, let's get to the conclusion of the review of the Model 3 Highland Long Range. This one has the black interior and the stealth grey paint, which is similar to the old Midnight Silver Metallic, but it has black shimmering at certain, uh, certain angles. Of course, there are many improvements to this uh, new car, like Hardware 4. The cameras are much clearer. Uh, the sound isolation is much better. The uh, comfort is so much better. It's better than the Model Y, of course. It's be probably better than the Model Y with comfort uh, suspension. I've sit, uh, sat in that as well, and from what I can remember, uh, that one had harsher bumps than this one. So the frequency response dampeners that they use in this new Model 3 Highland works and was a worthy investment for them to put in, in my opinion. It um, and driving feel is fantastic. It handles well in the curves, still. Uh, the steering input is softer. And I don't know, the steering ratio feels different, but I'm not able to describe it properly. It's not that different. And as I said, there are some problems uh, with uh, blinkers in uh, roundabouts. It won't, uh, it's easy to get confused. But everything else about this vehicle is so good, especially considering this is the same price as the old one, or almost same price. The sound system is fantastic and I would only consider the long range because of the sound system, I think. But the rear wheel drive LFP is so good, so it bugs me that you can't upgrade to the best sound system in the rear wheel drive Model 3 Highland. But 
it doesn't matter that much because the rear wheel drive uh, model 3 highland uh, sound system um, is supposed to be really 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 great as well better than many other car brands upgraded versions and these sound systems come standard on all model uh, all teslas really these amazing sound systems engineered in-house uh, by Bang and Olofsson engineers and no branding needed just you're in a Tesla you'll get great sound and that's one of the most underappreciated features in my opinion for many people they will just uh, buy uh, the safest car with the greatest sound system and that's uh, Tesla at the moment so do I think it's very different from the Model 3 before even though I had a lot of the upgrades from the 2019 model in my 2021 model the upgrades are still this one is so far ahead than the 2021 model everything feels so well screwed together it feels like they have made the cars for uh, more years than they really have with this car uh, if uh, that makes sense I the doors feel amazing the, the door sound uh, everything feels nicely screwed together. There are no squeaks and rattles. If you hear anything in the videos, it's the camera mount, uh, which I've tried to make not squeak. And yeah, it's a roundabout problem uh, with this car. And I suspect people will buy it anyways. So, yeah. We might see less blinking in the roundabout really unless Tesla uh, fixes a software um, thing where you can do a combination each time you enter a roundabout and going to the left I don't know maybe based on navigation but that's not really Tesla's thing to base stuff on navigation their uh, philosophy is that everything is going to work without maps at any place in the world so I don't know doesn't sound like something they would do but this is a, it's a really big problem. It sounds stupid for Americans probably, but this is a really big problem in Europe. And I think a lot of people will complain or they will not complain, just buy the car and just take the risk and don't blink really. Um, because it's difficult to get into the muscle memory. I've driven a lot in this Model 3 Highland now and uh, driven uh, a lot of roundabouts in this Model 3 Highland and I'm not able to to quickly blink out or yeah I need to watch the steering wheel which is bad you should watch the road anyways enough about the stalkless design uh, I quickly want to mention that the gearing on the screen was much easier than I thought but I do like the handle more uh, because it's easier to shift between drive and reverse quickly when you are doing multiple multi-point turns uh, but this is less of an issue, the driver stalk for me is less of an issue than the blinker stalk. As I said, the comfort is nice, it feels uh, fantastic, it feels uh, smoother in the curves. A little bit less responsive on the steering wheel, in my opinion. And um, I can't wait for the performance version of this, it seems like they are actually going to do some major upgrades. Not just make it uh, faster and lower the suspension. Uh, but seems like they are going to make some sports seats and stuff and I'm so stoked to try that one because this one feels more like a comfort upgrade and the stiff chassis of the Model 3 um, the stiff suspension I should say of the Model 3 uh, long range from 2021 is one of the characteristics I really like about the car uh, but most people are interested in comfort and you get that there you get comfort features you get LED uh, interior LEDs I love the LEDs at night I'm a sucker for interior lighting and some people don't like it you can turn it off of course but <laughs> I just uh, really enjoy interior lighting and I always appreciate when car manufacturers uh, have interior lighting I will do a direct comparison with the Tesla Model 3 later. Uh, the same with the efficiency. Efficiency seems about the same as the old Model 3. Both are on winter tires. So, but I'll make a, a efficiency video. 
I'll make a sound difference video. Stay tuned for that, subscribe for that, and you will see the difference. Do I think it's worth it? This is the best Model 3 yet, even though we have some shortcomings, like I've talked about multiple times. Uh, like the limited top speed, which supposedly is due to tires. Yet you get so much car for your money. Around 600 kilometers of VLTP range, with the long range. You get awesome four-wheel drive, which can take you about anywhere. You get a comfortable driver driver's car. It's fun while comfortable without too many compromises. It has, of course, the ambient lighting, an awesome sound system, which is underappreciated. It's fantastic. You get, uh, what else do you get? You get ventilated seats, which is fantastic. You can't option them away. That's the great thing about this car. You can't take away the good options. You can just have the good ones. Tesla gets the packaging in my opinion. And the car starts at the same price as before. It's a medium priced car. It's such a good amount of car for your money. And then you of course get the driver assistant features like autopilot and stuff. Many other car manufacturers have uh, like lane holdings that are really good now, but often there are options. On this one you get lane holding as standard. That's a, that's an when people compare autopilot to other stuff, they forget, always forget to mention that autopilot is free, standard, included on all Teslas since 2019. So that's awesome. I love the autopilot feature. It has limitations here in Europe. It has problems. I made videos about it and I'll probably make more videos about it. Thank you so much for watching my review of the Tesla Model 3 Highland Long Range. There will be much more videos on other cars and uh, maybe the rear wheel drive version, uh, etc. Just uh, comment below, what are you interested in? I have uh, a lot of cars to test, uh, a lot of uh, cold weather testing, probably will sit in this car uh, more uh, in the future. And uh, just stay tuned and uh, thank you so much for giving my channel a chance.